Hi there, I'm Jennifer Ferguson with Artistic Painting Studio, and today we're going to have some fun embellishing a pair of jeans with some beautiful foil and a stencil. excited to share this project with you. This is a fun way to kind of make our own clothing a little bit more unique in our own style. So to start with, I have found a stencil that I wanted to use and this is called Nora Page is the name of the design and I'm using what's called Stick It which is a repositionable spray adhesive on the back of the stencil. Okay so you want to take this outside you want to spray the back of it, okay, and let it sit for a couple of minutes until it tacks up. But it's important because we're going to be using another spray, okay, and this is our foil adhesive for fabric. So we have to make sure that our stencil is going to stay in position really well. So I'm just going to put this where I determine I want to have the design. And I've kind of, in my mind, decided I want it to kind of go across. So it's going to take me a minute or so to take some tape, okay? And I'm just going to tear little pieces and kind of figure out what part of the design I'm going to keep and what part of the design I'm going to lose, okay? So this is going to take me a minute to do. But as I'm doing this... I can tell you guys more about um, the process, okay? Um, so like I said, we want to make sure that the stencil is um, stuck into place uh, because when we use our fabric spray, it's a fabric adhesive spray, okay? It's going to spray over these openings and we don't want it to go underneath. So that is why I'm taping down or taping over any of the elements I don't want to use. So I'm trying to create like a diagonal and just tape off these other parts that I don't need. Um, this is always a fun thing to do and it's kind of nice that you can take a stencil design, any design, and kind of customize it to the area um, that you want to paint. Um, and we're not painting this time, we're actually going to be embellishing with um, with foil. Uh, in our foil line, we have foils that are considered textile foils. So that is one that I'm going to be using um, today on this project. And okay, this there's a big, big seam here, but I think that's not helping. Okay, because I gotta get gotta get the stencil to stick to the fabric. Okay, there that's gonna probably be better if I just let it raise up. Um, so on our website, when you are looking for different foils, um, they're going to be marked and indicate on each design if it's a textile friendly foil or not. And because we're spraying um, over the stencil, we want to cover all the openings, okay? And make sure that we don't get any overspray on any other part of the jean. And you can always even use um, just like an extra piece of paper, okay? And put that under a piece of tape so it stays in position. So now everything is protected. Because uh, when you're spraying this, it's hard to just kind of keep it right there, okay? There's going to be overspray everywhere. So shake this bottle well, or this can, I'm sorry. Shake this can. Shake it for a few seconds. You want it to be... Um, really well mixed up in there and ready to go, okay? And then you're going to spray it over the openings, basically just trying to fill them in, okay? And it's just not a heavy spray, but you wanna spray in all the openings and make sure that you have coverage, okay? And then you're done with that. Um, so now we can actually remove our stencil and we're gonna have this beautiful white print, okay, on our fabric. Um, now I do recommend that you're gonna probably want to go and um, clean this stencil pretty quick, okay? Um, I have found that Gooby Gone or something similar to that 
works best to get this spray off of here. So take all your tape off and go clean that in the sink with something similar to Goo Be Gone. Um, then also, you need to allow this, um, it's called, it's actually called a fusible spray adhesive, okay? And you need to let this sit for 10 minutes. And it's doing what's called just tacking up. And you wanna allow that just to sit. So if you need to, set a timer because I know when we get projects going, we always get eager and ready to go. Um, so I have prepared the other side, okay? So I've got another leg already and ready to go that this was sprayed way over 10 minutes ago. And uh, we're gonna be using a foil uh, in our line called Ramsey Rose. Okay, so I've already cut off a piece and I've cut it so it's larger than the area that we need to iron. Um, so I'm going to place that directly over the design element. And then you can go directly over your foil, or you can make sure that you lay a piece of parchment paper down first. So I'm just going to tear off a piece of parchment paper. Because if you're using the parchment paper, then you can get your iron um, hotter, okay? And you don't have to worry so much about how high the heat is on the iron. Um, this is a newer iron, and I'm about medium, okay? So I'm about halfway. Um, I'm not all the way hot, but it definitely is up towards the hotter side, okay? And you also can use some steam. So if you've got water in there, you can use a little bit of steam and just keep it moving, okay? The only place that I always find it's a little challenging to iron is where your hems are, okay? Where it has the seams. And I just like to kind of keep my iron moving around. Now, like I said, I know I'm okay going directly on to the foil, so I'm going to, so that you can see this process. And you're also gonna probably see it grab the um, pattern underneath. Okay, so if you forget how far over you have your design, you can always pull your foil back just a little bit so you can see or feel where it's catching, okay? And you wanna iron for about, oh, 30 to 60 seconds, okay? It's not a long time, okay? And I don't remember if it went on to that edge, and I think I left that hem alone, okay? And then once you feel that you've got the, um, the foil ironed on well, okay? So what this is doing, it's giving it a heat release, okay? And um, allowing the adhesive to melt basically to the metallization of the foil. Now, this is what is called a cold release. So you need to allow this to sit for as long as it takes to completely cool down, okay? Don't go throw it in the water or in the refrigerator. Don't go throw it in the refrigerator or the freezer. Don't go put it by um, a, uh, the you know any kind of cooler to make it go cool down fast. Just let it cool down, okay? Um, I normally will always kind of take it and just allow the heat to release and kind of like air it out a little bit. That cools it down a little bit faster, but you definitely need to let it just cool on its own. And I'm gonna put that iron out of my way so that I do not get burned by it, okay? So we have let this completely cool for about 30, 45 minutes. And when I talk about a cool release, you really wanna let it just sit. So once you let it cool off, all you're gonna do is just pull your foil off and look at how absolutely gorgeous this is. So these are uh, textile foils. This can go through the washer, but not the dryer, okay? If you want them to remain as perfect as possible, you might even consider dry cleaning them, but you can launder them cold water inside out and hang to dry. So I hope you've had fun with this simple project. There are so many things that we can foil. So let's say I foiled that. <laughs>